Again, wrestling official, clinician, interpreter for the IHSA. Today, I'm going to break down another match for educational purposes. Today, we have Lockport versus Montini down on the state floor in the quarterfinals for the team state. So let's get to the action. We're going to have Montini in the green anklets and Lamont in the red anklets. The official steps in, stays between them, gives an up chop, and we're off to the start. Both wrestlers aggressively work into each other. Some overhooks and underhooks, neither be taking a passive stance. Red counters. Green tried to go under. Now red goes under, gets a leg up. Trips, goes down. Official gives two. And green's already out in front. That takedown seemed a little quick. Let's go back and take a, another look at it. Red gets the ankle up. Trips. But the minute he trips, Green has the whizzer in and comes to the front. And as the official signals, he's already out in front. Take one more look at it. I think we'll find that it was a little too quick and beyond, not beyond reaction time. You can see here the minute they hit the mat, the inside leg of Green is up. The whizzer's in. And he's coming out already. Right here. The official signals two, and green has already come to the front, and all red has is the leg. At this point, you can see the assistant comes and talks to the official, but they decide to let it go. Probably upon review, they would have changed that call. Now, you have a situation where the takedown was given, and red is in control. Green is coming up. But Red still has that arm wrapped all the way around his back to the other side. In kind of a seatbelt type thing. As the action goes forward, you got Red in control. Right here, the official gives Green the escape. I think here we probably should wait because with that arm all the way across, he can still pull him under. This is probably more of a point when the escape should have been given or a few seconds earlier. If we go back and take a look, we'll go back two spots. You can see as they come up, look how deep red has that arm all the way around the back and to the other side of green. Still has it deep. He can very easily pull him under. Here he still has it. The official signals one, but probably should have waited. Just a little bit longer in case he didn't get pulled under to about now. So now we have a score of 2 to 1, and we very easily could have 0 to 0 due to the scramble. Both wrestlers are working aggressively. No passiveness between them. Green goes under, red comes down, takedown. And green's under already. Let's take another look at this one. Right here, green goes behind. Now the difference from this one is that green is totally behind, arm around the waist, near elbow, and red has a hand down on the mat. Even though it's quick, I think it's beyond reaction time, and it was a good takedown. Even though green has lost it almost instantly, green now is in control and underneath. Still holding on to that leg. And you can see the official going to the front to check that he still has that inside leg and showing that green's in control. Now red starts moving out. And we get a stoppage here. Let's go back and look at this part because at this point, I believe the official's talking to red saying, don't just jump out. He keeps jumping out like a flea and then he hears him and sits back to stop his action from going out of bounds. And so the total action takes him out of bounds and we get just a stoppage in action. At this point, 
red is down. Seems to be a equipment issue. The official and the assistant come in to check. Everything seems okay. The assistant moves out at 90 degrees where he's supposed to be, and green comes on top. Now, if you notice, there's a caution. Referee comes in. I don't know if anyone noticed it, but we'll go back. Notice when green comes down, he doesn't come down under his own power. He puts his hand in the middle of the back of red. Nice thing here, you get a nice green C, and the official shows and talks to the offender and tells him what he did. He put his left hand in his back. Sometimes officials call the caution and don't tell the wrestler what they did wrong. He explains it to him. He gets the bottom guy set on top, and we get a start. Red immediately comes to his feet. Green's trying to mat return. Remember, the rule says attempt mat return. It doesn't say you have to exceed. At this point, Green is still in control. He's holding on to the leg. He has to keep his eye on the action. And the assistant comes in and says time. This is important of working together and having a good assistant because you've got to scramble here with the possibility that Red may get away or reversal. And he's got to keep his eye on the action. The official comes in and says, time. Now we're starting the second period. The score is 3-2 to two green. Green's choice. Green takes down, signaled by the official. The assistant's at 90 degrees where he's supposed to be. This is a good teaching point right here. To start, I myself like this, and I like when official comes in tight. Gets the bottom man set, and he can even put up a hand with the yield sign to keep the top wrestler off. Once he gets the bottom wrestler set, he brings him board, comes back halfway in a perfect position to start him. Now at this point here, you got Green back to his feet. Red trying to hang on. Green breaks away. Now we have an escape for green and the neutral sign given by the official. Now we have a score of 4 to 2 red. They're both trying to work hooks there. Red shoots in. I notice here green's trying to spin behind, keeps trying to step over that ankle. Now, the most important thing to know here is look how far Red has that leg of Green's up on his front shoulder. By having it up on his front shoulder, he has a lot of leverage. So even if Green could step behind that ankle, it wouldn't be considered a takedown because he has too much leverage. Now, there was a stoppage there. Let's go back because after the brief scramble here, he feels right here, that neither one can improve their position, calls a stalemate, puts them back on their feet. Steps in the center, good up chop. Now we're wrestling. We're in the second period. You can see we're down to around 45 seconds left in the second period. Red shoots in again. Gets a takedown, almost puts Green on his back, but Green's able to recover. With that takedown, the score is now tied 4-4, four to four, with less than 30 seconds left. Red is working. He's got a cross face. He's trying to work a cross face and get that far arm. Now he's trying to work for a cradle. Now the biggest thing to notice here and you see the official looking at it. Let's go back. A lot of times when you're working this cross-face cradle, the top wrestler tries to push this inside leg out with his knee. You can see Red trying to push the left leg out so he can get better position to control it. But when he pushes it, what you have to keep an eye on is that 
you don't have a twisting knee lock. You see how Red's knee is pushing Green's ankle against his knee. The official looks, and fortunately, the leg goes right back, so we don't get a stoppage in the action. Now Red's still in control, coming out front. He still has that firearm. When we get a countdown, the period's over. Now we go into the third period. The score is 4-4, four to four, and it's Red's choice. You can see the official holding the red armband up. Points Red's taking down. Now, important thing here, Green looks over, and you can see the bench. They're all signaling the neutral position, so they're telling their wrestler to let him up. So he gives them a little sign. We're going to put Red on his feet, give him a point. Now the score is going to be 5-4 to four Red. At this point, you can see the assistant had walked over because the score hadn't been put up yet. Go back one spot. You see he gives him a sign. He releases him. He gives one. But the score is still 4-4. Four to four. The assistant does a good job of catching it. Walks over. Tells him to wait. They put it up. Now he gets in those 180 and they're ready to go. Green probably decided to put Red up because he couldn't ride him, give him the point, knowing that he's going to need a takedown to take the lead. At this point, we're tied up. Green's, oh, got the firearm. Almost in a bulldog type thing. He's trying to pull Red under to break him off his base. Fortunately, Red's able to recover, and we're back on our feet. At this point, these wrestlers are pretty equal. Now Red goes under, gets the takedown. Probably a crucial takedown at this point because now pushes the score to 7-4. to four. We have just over a minute left. And here to watch, Red on top has a near half and a far wrist. See how the referee is going down to check it out? The importance of this, as we go back, is when you have that near half and far wrist, you got to make sure that he's able to go over and that the top wrestler doesn't pull that far wrist up and put it on top of the head, which would create a full Nelson. The official gets down in a good position to see it, Make sure it's legal, and he turns him over. At this point, we get a one count. He comes out of criteria. He turns him over again, a nice steady count. He gets the five count, three on the mat, and we get a fall. So up until the last 20 or 30 seconds, we had a very intense close match here. Referees did a good job staying in the match. We had an early takedown. I think if they both reviewed, they would probably take away. The second one was a good call. It met all the criteria, even though it was quickly given up almost by the wrestler. So hopefully you learned something from this experience and match breakdown. And have a good day and everyone stay healthy.